Hallelujah. Happy glorious new month to you. And happy glorious day to you. Hallelujah. We we'll give God the glory for another glorious month that He has crossed us into. Again. Hallelujah. I am here again to encourage us to encourage us with the word of God, which I tie to doubt and fear. I says luggage. Remember, we are still dealing with the things that can be an excess luggage in one's life. Uh, and today I am talking about uh, doubt and fear as an excess luggage. Uh, hallelujah. Doubt and fear is a lack of faith. Hallelujah. And a lack of faith, the Bible told us that without faith, uh, you cannot please God. Uh, and if you cannot please God, uh, you cannot receive from God. Uh, fear make us to displease God. Uh, Fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by the threats of danger. Why doubt uh, is waving between two minds or lacking confidence uh, or complete trust in the Lord. Uh, the way you lost trust in the Lord, uh, are you going to pray for God to answer you? When you lack, God, lack uh, trust in the Lord, uh, how are you going to go to him with the mindset uh, that you will receive from God? Uh, so that and fear have the excess luggage uh, that will make you not to receive. That will be an hindrance uh, that needs to be dealt with uh, and removed from your life uh, before it is too late. Uh, hallelujah. And before we continue, let us pray. Our Father God, I just thank you again this hour and I mind the fight in the God. Uh, Thank you for another opportunity you're giving to us to hear your word. Uh, Lord, speak your word to us again tonight. Give us a revelation of this word that comes forth again, O oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, let everyone listen to the sound of my voice, O oh God. Uh, Father, open their hearts to receive uh, the revelation of this word, O oh God. Uh, that they will apply it to their self, that this new month, O oh God, uh, Fear will not be their excess luggage. Doubts will not be their excess luggage. Every one of them will receive, O oh God, that we shall prepare, O oh God, for them this month in the name of Jesus. Thank you, glorious Father. Be that they exalted, O oh God. In Jesus' glorious name, I have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Fear and doubt are our excess luggage that need to be dealt with. Like I said, uh, God has told us in this world that uh, when it comes to our fear, he has told us not to be afraid uh, that he is with us. Uh, fear make you not to believe the word of God. Uh, fear make you not to trust in the word of God. Uh, fear make you uh, not, to, uh, not to accept what the word of God is saying in that moment. And remember, I keep on telling us there are two F. Uh, there is a big a big letter F and small letter F. And the decision, now listen, those SS luggage we are talking about, these are the one that you're carrying. SS luggage that you're carrying, it is you that is carrying it. And it is you that will decide uh, to do away with this excess luggage. Uh, by the time you permit fear to come into you, oh, let, I, let me tell you, the devil will so use this fear and bring you to become nothing. Uh, it will so much work on it eh, that by the time he has finished dealing with it, uh, you yourself will not even know yourself again. That is why uh, the Bible told us that the God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of boldness. Uh, we are the children of the, 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 the great lion of Judah. So that means we are the children uh, of the bold God. We need to be bold and don't allow fear to come into you. Uh, in every decision that you want to take, uh, in every step that you need to take, uh, like I said, it's a lack of faith. Uh, because when you have this faith, uh, you have nothing to be afraid of. The big letter F stands for faith. Uh, and the small letter F stands for fear. And those two things does not work together. Light and darkness does not work together. 
fear and faith does not work together so when the faith is there the the, the, the fear will vanish and when the fear is there the faith cannot be put into action and that is why uh, we need to deal with it uh, because it is by faith that we receive uh, it is by faith we believe uh, it is by faith you claim that uh, and you know what faith is all about uh, let's quickly see that in the book of hebrew now uh, hebrew chapter 11 uh, where the Bible told us about the heroes of faith. Uh, hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 11. I'll read from verse 1 to 6. Uh, it, uh, it said, Now faith is confident in what we hope for now, and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients, uh, the ancients were commanded for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what, what is seen uh, was not made out of what was visible. Let me jump to verse 6. Uh, verse 6 says, uh, it says, And without faith it is impossible to please God, uh, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists, and that he reward those who earnestly seek him. Uh, hallelujah. By faith, he said, faith is an, a confident you have not seen it. You just believe that I am going to receive it. Uh, faith is a confidence, an assurance uh, that I know how we have what the word of God says. Uh, I know uh, and I claim it uh, and I believe the promises of God uh, even when I have not seen it. Uh, even when I don't know how it's going to come. Uh, even know how it's going to work. Uh, but the word of God says it uh, and the word of God is yes and amen. Uh, and because the word says it, uh, I believe it uh, and it will surely come to pass. It is by faith we received uh, even when we have not seen it uh, even when we have not hear it sometimes uh, when we talk in the midst of the the bible said the fool don't understand uh, a kind of man don't understand the spiritual things uh, the when the spiritual man is talking about this faith uh, and those who don't understand they say what is she talking about uh, is she okay yes we are okay because we know what the world says uh, let me make example now uh, for example, you're sick and you go to the doctor and the doctor just give you medicine to take. Even that medicine you're looking at it, you don't know how it is how it's going to work. You believe that this medicine will work because the doctor prescribed it for you. Then why don't you believe the word of God? Fear will not make you to believe. Fear will not make the promises written for you to manifest its power in your life. Fear will make one not to excel in life. Uh, fear, fear will put one in bondage. Uh, and hear what the word of God says uh, in Isaiah 41. Hallelujah. Isaiah 41, I'll read verse 10 and verse, uh, verse 13. Hallelujah. Isaiah 41, 10 says, uh, It says, Sorry, Isaiah 41, they say, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. That is it. Do not fear. This is what the word of God says. It is not a word that Brenda says. It is what the word of God says. Then if God says, don't fear, what are you afraid of? Then deal with that fear now, not tomorrow. Deal with it now. Cast it away from you. Do away with it, uh, because the Lord has assured you. This is the assurance, assurance that no man can give, but God has given it, given it to us. Do not fear. Let's see verse 13. Uh, he said, For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand, and say to you, Do not fear. Underline it. Do not fear. I will help you. Whatever it is that put fears in you, do away with it. Uh, because the word says, uh, do not fear. Fear prevents you from doing the will of God. Uh, it renders one useless. Uh, fear brings doubt, bring defeat. Uh, we will say, Matthew, there is no time for me to read the Bible there. Fear brings defeat. Uh, fear keep one in bondage to sin. Uh, hallelujah. Fear make us uh, not to do the will of God. We know about the story of Peter, Peter uh, Matthew 14, uh, 28 out of 1. Uh, I am no time for me to read it. You just read it on your own. Matthew 14, 28 to 31. When Jesus was walking on the, in, uh, on the scene, uh, and Peter said, Lord, is that you? 
And Jesus said, I am the one. He said, if it is you, command me to come and walk on the scene. And Jesus said, come. And Peter began to walk on the sea. But what happened? When fear come, it began to dawn. It began to go down. It was walking on top. That is what fear brings to our life. Fear brings God down from above to downward. That is why you need to deal with it now before it is too late. Deal with it before you begin to ask. Before you begin to blame the wishes. The winds that have, not, have nothing to do with it. Before you begin to blame ah, my mother village or my father village and that woman way talked to me yesterday. Now that woman way, now that man way hide me yesterday. No. Before you start blaming innocent people. Before you start blaming the devil for what they know nothing about it. Deal with what is in you. Before it is too late. And let's quickly see the the, the, the the that aspect. Hallelujah. That is wavy between two minds. Lacking confidence. Make you to be unstable. That is what the Bible says. And when you are doubting, hey, no matter the prayer they pray for you, you will not receive. You know why? Because you called for the, for, for the man of God, women of God to pray for you. And the man of can be a miracle. God has been using that far man or woman to perform miracles. And you call them to pray for you. They come to pray for you. They pray for you. And that moment they pray for you, you receive it. And immediately the prayer is over, you begin to doubt. Mm -mm. All that they have prayed for is no, is no longer anything. Because the spirit of that, when it is in you, it robs you of your blessings. Uh, let's see what the book of uh, the word of God says concerning that. Uh, in the book of James, uh, James chapter 1, I'll read verse 5 to 6. Uh, James chapter 1 or 6 to, to 6 to 8, sorry, 6 to 8. Uh, James chapter 1, 6 to 8 says, uh, it says, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubt is like a wave of the sea. Blow and toasted by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is a double-minded and unstable in all they do. Hallelujah. When you that, the Bible called that person a double-minded. That person is not stable. And a person that is not stable is easy to fall. Because that moment that you are shaking, uh, the devil can sw switch his something, a little thing, uh, and you begin to seek. That is an excess luggage uh, that needs to deal with before it deal with you. Do away with anything uh, in this year, 2024. This is a war that God wants you to pay attention to before they deal with you deal with it take it out of you now because by the time you are carrying those things to the presence of god god have assured us the better things this this year god has assured us his word this year but this word has come it came last year god promises last year comes to you come to you was it fulfilled in your life? It came two years ago. Uh, was it fulfilled in your life? You wrote a, lo a, a long list. Uh, this is what I wanted. You prayed over it. Uh, was it fulfilled? No. Then if your, 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 your prayer is not coming through, these are the reasons uh, that he might not come through. When there is a spirit of that, uh, he said, when you start asking, when you come to ask, uh, you must believe and not that, uh, because it is believe uh, that give you the key. Uh, it is believe that is the key to open every door when you ask. Uh, it is believe. Uh, believe is a free ticket uh, to receive from God. Uh, and when you that, uh, you put belief on that, and that come up. Uh, and whenever you ask at that moment, whatever you are asking that uh, you will not receive because that has come and that makes you to become a double-minded person not knowing what to believe i don't know if god will do it uh, are you sure god will do it immediately you begin to say i don't know who knows what knows what no no i begin to speak english of no and no 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 then the 
prayers will not be answered. It make you to become a double-minded man. And the Bible says that a double-minded man will not receive anything from God. He wants to receive this year from God. You want to see your prayers coming through. You want to receive answers to your prayers. Then deal with this doubt and fear in you so that you will not become a double-minded. And the Bible says such a person is a double-minded and unstable in all they do, not only in your prayer, in all that you do, you'll be unstable because you have the spirit of that. that is a spirit that needs to be dealt with. Ask God for the grace that to deal with every spirit of that and fear. Fear plays one in cage. It makes you to be afraid to go out like others. It makes you to come out to China. And you are called to China. We are called to make a difference. We are called to become a record breaker. The one that makes a difference wherever you go. But fear will not make you to do that. Fear of what people will say. Fear of if I fail. Fear of who knows what will happen. Fear of hey this or that and that and this. And that fear will not make you to do what God has called you to do. Fear make you to, make you, it puts you below. See God above every mountain. By the time you are able to see God above every mountain, uh, then that fear is gone. Hallelujah. Let's quickly see the book of Mike chapter 11 also. And I will be concluded by that. The book of Mike chapter 11. I will start from verse 22. Hallelujah, 22 to 24. Hallelujah, Mike 11, 22 to 24. Let's see what that place tells us also again about that and asking. Hallelujah. Mike 11, 22 to 24 says that. He said, have faith in God. Jesus answered, truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea and does not die. The reason why you are telling Martin move and the mountain is not moving uh, because you are, you have that in you because you're that in uh, you see if anyone says to this mountain uh, go throw yourself into the into the sea and does not that in their heart but believe that what they says will happen it will be done today if mountain is not moved when you speak if mountain is not moved when you combine, because the spirit of that can be there, then you need to deal with it. Let's go forward and see. Verse 24. He said, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Believe and you don't doubt. So this year, if you're praying for whatsoever it is that you're asking for, you must remove the spirit of that uh, and allow belief to occupy your heart. Uh, allow belief to envelop you. Allow belief to over, uh, that is overcover everything that you are thinking. Uh, it is belief that is the free ticket uh, to receive. Uh, without belief, you cannot receive. Uh, faith uh, make you to receive. Uh, and that make you not to have faith. Uh, and fear without faith comes fear. And fear make you not to receive from God. Uh, then if you want to receive, uh, the Bible says, do not doubt. Because that make you not to receive. And when you doubt, no matter how little it is, it has robbed all the long prayer that you prayed for. There was a story that was told that this, this woman needed money and the pastor said, how much do you need? He said, they need uh, this money by the end of the weekend. And the pastor said, let's pray. And they prayed together. The, man, the pastor made a declaration and said, by the ending of this weekend, uh, your daughter needs uh, so, so and so money and I declare that she will have it and so shall it be. And the pastor prayed. And instead of the woman to say amen, the woman said, are you sure that this money will come? Who know where the money? Who know that the God can really do this? <laughs> no matter how far, no, no matter how long the prayer the pastor prayed, no matter how short it is, the woman has said, "Are you sure? Are you sure?" It's a doubt. God word is yes and amen. What God says, He will do, and He will do. He said, "Even a hair will pass away, my word will not pass." God says, "When you ask, I don't doubt." You will receive it. And everyone that that 
will not receive anything. He's a double-minded man, unstable in what he do. May we not be unstable in whatever we do in Jesus' name. May the Lord fill us with the spirit of boldness. Uh, and may the Lord take away the spirit of fears and doubt away from us. So that there will not be excess luggage in our life this month in the name of Jesus. May the Lord give us the grace, uh, the grace to receive, uh, the grace to deal with those things uh, that can be an hindrance in our life. Uh, so that we can walk well, walk right uh, with God uh, this year in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful and a glorious day. And once again, happy, glorious new month. Amen.